This is when my Aunt Gloria surprised me and she made the cake even though my grandmother wasn't there. So that was a nice surprise and the nice way to remember her because the cake meant so much to her. My name's Gina Haney and I am a new employee at the Community Media Center. Just been here since June and I wanted to share this cake recipe from my grandmother. She, um, she found the recipe many years ago in a women's magazine and she just started making it every year for my birthday. I, I don't remember not having a birthday where this cake wasn't a part of it. Oh, my birthday is December 24th. Because my birthday was Christmas Eve, we had a joint Christmas party combination, Gina's birthday, and we did it for every year until she passed away in 2007 was the first year. I thought that we wouldn't have the cake, and this is when my Aunt Gloria surprised me and she made the cake even though my grandmother wasn't there. So that was a nice surprise and the nice way to remember her because the cake meant so much to her that she put so much into this cake for me. She always made sure I had it and I have wonderful memories of that. So I'm glad to have it still be a part of my life. And as you can tell, I miss my grandmother. You just grab your phone, go to the History Project website, carolhistory.org, and it's got a link right on there for the form. Fill in the form, submit it. You can upload a picture if you want. If you want to share your family recipe, it's a wonderful way to remember somebody that meant a lot to you, and it's a way to share your recipe at the same time. And while you're there, check out the Day of Listening for Thanksgiving, which is a way for people to submit meaningful recipes that have been passed down for generations in their family. So. I would encourage everyone to participate in that day of listening for Thanksgiving because it meant a lot to me to have this recipe out there to commemorate my grandmother and I think it could do a lot for a lot of other people as well.